This is YouTube Joseph WM walking with a pterosaurus. May we begin with the right of speed. So now we're going to. So in the last program, we talked about the Ramparinkus. Now we're going to talk about the Ornithopyrus. This is the one from BBC. It's walking with dinosaurs. To find out about near towards the end of its life. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, um, so now a baby hatches. On the Fakirish chick hatches. Now learns to. Parents teach him how to fish. And we him with a few weeks later. He's able to fish on his own and he's able to fish and learns how to fly. Oh, this is like three weeks later. Now, it's four months later, he now lives on his own. Flies over the ocean for an. Well, actually, here. Traveling the land, he's now he's now an adolescent. Four months later, he'll be like that for the next eight months till it now. Eight months later, he's a year old. Now a young adult. Oh, this isn't there. Just ignore that. Anyway, so now he fishes. <clears throat> oh no, not there yet. Just ignore that. And then crosses. This is in your oldest event. Now he crosses the, um, where there's a bunch of dinosaurs. It's a pole campus, which is this armored dinosaur, the North American iguanodon, this brown buckbill looking like one. And then one of the guys has a huge wingspan, like, I don't know, like a few dozen, like a dozen meters. Not really sure how much. How many to be meters or feet to be exact? I forget. I think he has a five or six meter wingspan. On Kairos do now. They arrived in New York and there's a year here in one that he has arrived in your whole campus now. And these guys just he flies across the ocean to where Spain is and miss and, and um misses out on his chance to mate. I think he he passes away before he can mate. This is t nine years later. I don't know really how he died. Probably, probably starvation, maybe dehydration, maybe from stress. I don't know really. We don't know. Maybe just old age. And then he died. In the next program, we'll learn about Tyrannodon. He dies um, at the age of 10, or like um, 60 in human years. That means Pole Campus could, oh, oh I mean Ornithopyrus could probably live to like um, 
20 or 15 or 20. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe as always. Bye-bye.